Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and greetings to all the professors and doctors. My name is Nazri bin Ahmad with metric number 2030546, year one master of public health studying in Unimas. Uh, my supervisor is Dr. Ayu Akida Minti Abdul Rashid and my co-supervisor is Associate Professor Dr. Helmi bin Hazmi. So today I will give a proposal defense regarding the prevalence of daytime sleepiness among e-sports gamers and their associated factors. In recent years, video gaming has gained popularity and gained recognition on a global scale. There are many different game genre and game modalities available today including computer, consoles and mobile platform. While gaming takes place both recreationally and competitively, the most notable is the rise of esports. So, what is esports? Esports is a game that is played in a highly organized competition environment, according to McCutcheon. Also, Harvard University defined it as a professional or competitive video gaming. It can range from team-oriented multiplayer online battle arenas MOBAs, single-player first-person shooter, survival battle royale, game consoles, personal computer games, mobile and mobile games. Globally, the approximate number of active video game players lies within the range of 3 billion and in Asia alone, there are almost 1.5 billion gamers. So, we cannot Ignore what are the potential health implications that it could give to the human, such as reported by Lee et al. 2020, the potential health implications such as musculoskeletal pain, poor mental health, and also later sleep fast. So, if they are frequently Exposed to later sleep phase, of course, their sleep hygiene is greatly affected. As we all know, getting enough sleep is crucial to our health mentally and physically. There are numerous research regarding what the effect of lack of sleep to the health, such as obesity, type 2 DM, cardiovascular disease, hypertension, and mental health issues such as depression and anxiety. So in Malaysia, the 42% Malaysian youth admitted they play mobile games daily. So the effect of lack of sleep brought on by a gaming addiction will have an impact on young adults and teenagers whose brain are still developing. So this is a cause for concern as sleep has a vital role in learning, memory consolidation, and renewal of one's attention levels. A person with insufficient sleep or poor sleep quality is likely to be affected in areas related to memory and attention which will then affect their school life and work and may predispose them to accidents and injury. And one of the most relatable health effects resulting from the lack of sleep is daytime somnolence, somnolence or and are sometimes referred in the literature as daytime sleepiness. So there are several studies have identified a number of determinants of daytime sleepiness such as social demographic factors, gaming pattern and sleep hygiene behaviors. But then there are other potential unexplored contributors to daytime sleepiness such as level of self-control and online game addiction. So what is the research question for this study? First one is the what is the prevalence of daytime sleepiness among esports gamers? The second one is what is the relation between daytime sleepiness with socio demographic factors among esports gamers? And then the relation between daytime sleepiness with gaming pattern among esports gamers? What is the relation between daytime sleepiness with sleep hygiene knowledge and practice among esports gamers? What is the association between daytime sleepiness with self-control among esports gamers? And lastly, what is the association between daytime sleepiness with online game addiction between among esports gamers? To answer the research question, research objective is built 
and the general objective is to determine the prevalence of daytime sleepiness among its sport gamers age 18 and above in Kuching district and their associated factors. And the five specific objectives answer the five research questions. The hypothesis for this research is there is a significant association between sociodemographic gaming pattern, sleep hygiene knowledge and practice, level of self-control and online game addiction with presence of daytime sleepiness among esports players in Kuching district. Based on previous literature and research objective, the conceptual framework was formulated. Therefore, the dependent variable for this study is presence of daytime sleepiness and there are five group of independent variables had been identified. The first one is social demographic factors, gaming pattern factors, sleep hygiene behaviors factors, self-control factors, and lastly, online game addiction factors. For the research methodology, the study design is a cross-sectional study. The study area is at the Kuching district. With the sample size, I use the two proportion formula. The uh, using the two previous literature review uh, in the prevalence of sleep efficiency, which is 91.6% and 82.6%, with margin error of 5% and confidence interval 95%, resulting a 522 respondents. The sampling method is snowball sampling. Now, why I use the snowball sampling? Because <laughs> one of the main reasons is because they are not a full-time gamers. They do not cluster and stay in one location at all the time so it's making it difficult to contact them and they will only assemble if there is a specific event such as a gaming competition uh, therefore the why i use the snowball snowball sampling for the inclusion and exclusion criteria or the inclusion criteria is uh, anyone age more than 18 years old can read and understand malay english and willingness to participate for the exclusion criteria is uh, whoever diagnosed with a sleep disorder and who were diagnosed with obst obstructive sleep apnea and also who were taking any medication that affect their sleep. In Sarawak, there is one community esports in Facebook which is called Sarawak Esports Association that have 26,000 followers. My plan to reach the esports community is through them. So my that for the, for the data collection method is the first one is submission of the letter of permission to the Sarawak Esports Association, and then I will meet up with the admin staff of Sarawak Esports Association, and I will pass the QR code questionnaire to the admin staff of Sarawak Esports Association, and will await the respondents' response. For the instrument, I am using the self-answered questionnaire that have six section. The first one is social demographic profile. And then gaming pattern, sleep hygiene index. The fourth one is Edward sleepiness scale. Section five, brief self-control scale. And lastly, the online game addiction scale. For the st statistical analysis, the first one, and uh, all data will be entered to Microsoft Excel and will be exported to statistical software spaces for analysis. And then the data will be examined for quality control and will be clean. And then the distribution and frequency will be examined. And then categories with small sample size and skewed distribution will be noted. And then outliers will be identified from the distribution and based on acceptable values of the variables. And then the meaningful combination of categories will be done when it is indicated. And lastly, analysis will be done according to the terms and working conditions. For the ethical consideration, ethic approval will be required from the ethics committee of the University of Malaysia Sarawak. And then the permission letter will be presented to Sarawak Esports Association and then meeting up with the Sarawak Esports Association Administrator and then we'll be uh, waiting for respondent. Mm, this is my gun chart. And with that, I end my presentation. Thank you.